yourself? Sure. So my name is Daniel. Uh, I am currently a sessional lecturer, I guess, and I'm also helping run a uh, summer research program called Inspire. Yeah, so I started off in engineering physics uh, before switching to physics and computer science. I did a master's in ultra cold atomic physics and then a PhD in single molecule biophysics. That's cool. Uh, was there any point in your undergrad that you thought uh, maybe you like research? I think I always had the idea of going on to do research. Uh, I got to do a uh, summer research program funded by NSERC. I won a USRA award, which allowed me to do research over the summer and, and get paid. And I enjoyed the experience, so I kept going into graduate school. Um, how did you get the opportunity? Uh, it was, uh, I was taking a class with uh, Professor Josh Milstein and I enjoyed his class a lot, so I asked him if uh, there was any research opportunities in his lab, and he directed me to this NSERC award. And so I applied and was successful. So it was here at UTM? That's right, it was here at UTM. That's cool. Uh, do you remember any courses that you have taken that uh, helped you a lot in the grad school? Yeah, definitely uh, the course with Professor Josh Milstein, so it was uh, mathematical and computational physics, uh, was one that really helped me uh, a lot. I'd say it's the one that helped me the most in graduate school. Um, you mentioned that you're a sessional lecturer. Yeah. Uh, what courses have you taught? Uh, at UTM, I've taught uh, the mathematical and computational physics course. I've taught a fourth year quantum mechanics course and a fourth year electrodynamics course. I've also taught for the physics department in the St. George campus uh, for second year electromagnetism and second year classical mechanics. And I taught a molecular biophysics course for the Institute of Biomedical Engineering in the St. George campus. Uh, which one of these was the hardest for students to um, learn and why do you think that is? I would say it's uh, the fourth year electrodynamics was the hardest one, I think because it's between fourth year electrodynamics and fourth year quantum mechanics. The math in the electrodynamics one is uh, fairly difficult, and I think that's a barrier for a lot of students. For quantum mechanics, the math is easier, but the concepts are more abstract, so that tends to be a little bit harder for them. Do you have any tips for students who are going to take that and those two courses? Yeah, I would say uh, make sure to have a strong foundation. That tends to be a a weak point for a lot of students coming into the courses is that they don't have uh, the foundations exactly right. Uh, so they're always kind of playing catch up over the course. You mean mathematical foundation? Uh, physics as well. So the pre prerequisite uh, quantum mechanics courses, prerequisite ENM course. I see. Um, how do you think students should get into research these days? Um, because it may be a little different than uh, when you did your research. Uh, the competition, I think, a little is a little more. Yeah. Um, any tips? I would say uh, start networking as early as possible. Um, and don't be shy to talk to professors, even in your first year. Uh, I met someone who, in their the summer term after their first year, they started doing research already, which is fairly early. And it was that she wasn't afraid to talk to professors and ask questions and ask for advice. Uh, alternatively, even doing like a summer internship in a company um, is good experience that it may not be kind of basic research that you find in a university, but you get to be outside of a classroom and solve different types of problems. Um, how would you describe your day? Uh, let's say this is Monday and you are starting your week. How would you describe your day as a researcher? As a researcher, uh, I would say it's usually um, planning out the week. If you have experiments to do, trying to plan them out. If you have that analysis to do, uh, try to balance those two. The research that I did was a little bit of everything. So I did the theoretical experimental computational and data analysis. Uh, so I tended to shuffle 
between them. Sometimes I had the flexibility to choose what I wanted to work on depending on my mood, I guess. Do you enjoy doing research? Very much. I like the, the flexibility that I was given to explore the topic and take the research in the direction that I thought was most productive and just uh, being at the, at the cutting edge and contributing something that uh, had never been done before was exciting. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.